What really makes the Neonatology Fellowship Training Program at VCU unique is the individualized approach to training for each of the fellows. Um, here we are dedicated to understanding what are the goals each fellow has as they um, work through their three years of fellowship training. One of the important aspects of the Neonatology Fellowship is the ECMO program, which is something that's near and dear to my heart. In many, if not most, institutions, when a baby requires ECMO, they're transferred to the PICU or to one of the other ICUs for care. That's not the case at CHORE, where those babies stay in the NICU and are cared for by the neonatologist who heads the multidisciplinary ECMO team. The fellowship program at VCU offers a unique sense of belonging to a family uh, where fellows, faculty, nurse practitioners, and even nursing uh, um, work together in unity for, for our patients and for the well-being of everybody. Some fellows come in knowing exactly what they want to do for their scholarly activity. And we have both neonatal and pediatric and university faculty ready, willing, and able to help actualize that. But a lot of fellows come in not being completely sure what it is that they want to study. And we have a long history of helping people discover what their interest and passion. When I was uh, looking for a fellowship program, what was important for me was a program that has a very uh, potential for a very well-rounded clinical experience and a place where I could um, make a town that's not too big and not too small and I have children so I wanted to have good schools and all that and it, I just felt that Richmond um, and VCU this provided me with the, all those things. Being the only level four NICU in Central Virginia, we receive a lot of um, uh, transport calls and referrals from uh, NICUs within the city of Richmond and from uh, newborn nurseries and NICUs that are further away. Um, our transport team is comprised of eight dedicated transport nurses and eight dedicated respiratory therapists. We uh, have two modes of transport, either flight by helicopter or ground by ambulance. We have a dedicated critical care ambulance. Uh, one of the things that is uh, I like about the fellowship research-wise is that um, when fellows come in, they don't necessarily get pigeonholed or placed into one research project or another research project. There's really a lot of, a lot of opportunity to take some time to talk to different uh, research uh, attendings, uh, both within NICU, but then also one of the things about VCU is there's a lot of uh, collaboration outside of NICU and other departments of pediatrics or even on the adult side. Um, so you have that opportunity to kind of talk to different people, talk to different mentors, come up with your own ideas and thoughts about uh, research and kind of go from there. Our nurse practitioners are very strong. They are a wealth of knowledge. They know how the system works very well and they have a very good relationship with our fellows both inside and outside the hospital. So fellows are really first line for procedures, whether it be intubating, line placement, chest tubes, um, pericardiocentesis, you know, whatever, whatever the procedure, fellows are gonna be the first line to have the opportunity to do that. Usually after you've done several of them, you feel comfortable with it. Um, I find the relationship with the, between the fellows and the NPs is a very good and very strong relationship. I know as a fellow myself, uh, I would lean on them a lot of times with their ex breadth of experience, uh, particularly with procedures, but other things. Um, you can ask them questions, but then also at the end of the day, um, they're also very respectful um, and they know that the, the fellow and the attending are making the final decisions um, on the care for the babies and they're going to really be a, a team. Work to, you guys will always work together as a team um, and, and make um, you know the best decisions for the babies. There's high complexity in many of our patients many disease processes that you would see on the boards do come through our door. Not only do I really enjoy the process of teaching and growing the subspecialty of neonatology, but I do love when each individual fellow brings in their novel questions and their their approaches to how patients should be managed. I think it's important that we continue to question our management and our approaches so that we continue to try to advance our field so that we can improve our ways in which we can take care of the special population. The clinical training um, in um, for fellowship uh, uh, in neonatology 
um, really is anchored by our level four NICU. This is a 40 bed uh, level four NICU within uh, Central Virginia that um, um, really um, provides care to over 40,000 uh, patients within our region. It is the only uh, ECMO program uh, within Central Virginia and certainly is one of two within uh, the state of Virginia. The, the program uh, provides every subspecialty that possibly is needed uh, for uh, neonatal care uh, at high, and high risk uh, uh, management as well as has a large neonatal perinatal program and fetal program affiliated with it. Richmond and its suburbs have a lot to offer. We have a huge selection of restaurants with different types of cuisines. We also have the James River, which cuts through the city. And if you like the outdoors, this is a great area to go to. You can kayak, you can go boating, fishing. We have a lot of hiking trails, biking trails, camping areas. We're close to uh, Charlottesville and the wineries there, about an hour and a half drive. You can uh, visit a lot of wineries. To the east of us, about an hour and a half to two hour drive, depending on traffic, you can go to the beach. Two hours north of us, we have Washington, D.C. and everything that's offered up there. Part of the good part about the relationship between NPs and fellows is that we learn from each other. So we teach you some of the nursing aspects of your job that you may not have learned in medical school. And then you teach us because you're learning all these things newly too. And we are, um, friendly with one another, we learn from one another. Mm -hmm. The relationship uh, progresses as they go through their fellowship where we're helping them in the beginning and then towards the end they are helping us. Right. And um, I think in the end we um, bonded and made lifetime relationships. Everybody comes in with a little bit of a different expectation as a new fellow and we have to adjust to our thinking to help them learn and foster their growth. And we are also the party planners, we're the locals. We've been here forever in the Virginia, the Richmond area, so we can tell them where to go, where to live. I think we have an awesome working relationship and we would love for you to join our team and we will have a party for you when you leave. <laughs>